James Clerk Maxwell was a physicist and first chair of experimental physics at Cambridge. Without his work on light, you wouldn't be seeing this video. Einstein himself said, the work of James Clerk Maxwell changed the world forever. So he is perhaps Galloway's most influential son. But James is better known among scientists than he is to the rest of the world. Born in Edinburgh in 1831, James came to live at the family estate of Glen Lair at the age of two, when it was still a part of Parton Parish. From the very outset, James was a curious child, always trying to understand the world around him. And both of his parents, John and Francis Clark Maxwell, were very encouraging of this curiosity. In a letter to James's aunt in Edinburgh, just after they moved to Glen Lair, his father described him as having great work with doors, locks and keys, etc. And show me how it does is never out of his mouth. He would also ask, what's the go of that? And if not satisfied, what's the particular go of that? He was very much an outdoor child. He played most often with the children of the local farm workers, but also his cousin, Jemima Wedderburn. She spent a lot of time at Glen Lair with James in the summers, documenting the adventures of James and his gang of friends in her artworks. Francis taught her son to read with the Bible, and he was soon quoting whole passages. By the time he was eight, he could recite the longest psalm, Psalm 119, from memory. His excellent memory served him well later in life. After his mother's untimely death in 1839, James's father hired a 16-year-old tutor to educate James at Glen Lair, but this was something of a disaster. The young man used violent methods to try and shape James into an obedient pupil, leaving James with a hesitant way of speaking afterwards. One day, James rebelled, climbed into a washing tub and paddled it out into the middle of the duck pond. He refused to come back until his aunt Kay figured out what the problem was. The young tutor was dismissed and arrangements were made for James to attend Edinburgh Academy, the school founded in part by Sir Walter Scott. In a class of 67 boys, having a thick accent that he had picked up from his gang at Glen Lair and wearing clothes that his father cut and tailored for James himself, James was often teased and nicknamed Dafty. Nonetheless, he thrived in the classes at the Academy. During school terms, he lived with his Aunt Kay and Aunt Widderburn in Edinburgh. During the winters, his father would come and live in Edinburgh too, taking James to both the Royal Society and the Edinburgh Society of Arts. There was a great debate about how to draw a perfect circle raging around the time James was 14, and James wrote a letter to the Royal Society about it. It was read out to the Society by Professor James Forbes, who would later teach James at Edinburgh University. His childhood here in Galloway left him with an enduring love of nature. Unusually, he neither fished nor shot, preferring instead just to observe. He later encouraged his own students to study in a similar, solitary way, believing that being self-taught through observation was the best way to learn. James entered Edinburgh University at 16, ready to soak up the study of science.